right, here is the video review for the 5-2 Toys officially licensed uh, Mega Box Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo and Donatello figures. We did Michelangelo and Raphael a while back, and the second two are out now. Uh, these came in from Shozy Store, uh, and you can check them out at Shozy Store or Gundam.it um, is one of their new websites, uh, but they, they have the same great selection there if you want to pick them up. But yeah, I got these in from Shozy the other day, and super excited to have all of them back. They come in, they each come with their own little charger here. I can, can you stack them vertically, you can stack them side to side, you can combine them with the Michelangelo and Donatello boxes, or the Raphael boxes, so you can have all your turtles vertically like this, you can put them, you can have them in a row of four, depending on how you store your stuff. But anyway, that is, uh, that's enough about the box chargers, they're just little boxes to store them in. Inside are Donatello and Leonardo in their cube forms. Fairly unremarkable as their box turtle forms. Haha, <laughs> a little joke there for Terrapin enthusiasts. Anyway, um, yeah, they form little boxes and they, of course they transform or convert however, whatever term you want to use into Ninja Turtles. And just like we saw with Raphael and Michelangelo, they can form the party wagon. Any two can form the party wagon. So. Well, we'll do it with Leonardo and Donatello here. We did it with Mikey and Raph before. Leonardo can be the front. Michelangelo can be the back. Michelangelo can be the front. Donatello can be the back. All the way around, any one of them has the capacity to be either part of the party wagon. And to do that from the box forms for the front, we'll make Leonardo the front here. Just slide these wheels down like that. Pull these out around and fold them so they tab in here. Fold so that gray tab goes in here, and then they slide together to form the front bumper like that. You do need to pop the leg down for just a second to flip out the side view mirror, and then pop the leg back up into place and tab it in. Same on this side. Pop it out, flip out the mirror, and then tab that back into place. Flip this panel down right here in the front. You can see, and plug it in. As you can see, there's the window. Now these are the, this is supposedly the headlights down here on this inner piece. I think it gives it a little bit more of a dimension to push that in and have that on a different plane than the upper part. But uh, the instructions say to leave it wide open like that. And it's entirely up to you. I, like I said, I think it looks a little bit more dynamic like that, but it is your call. And then these tabs right here lift up and down. And even though the sword parts are there, these will still fit around. You can still form the truck without having to remove those. They stick out a little bit more than uh, Raphael and Michelangelo's weapons did. They're just because they're flat. You saw that. So there's the front half of the party wagon. And on the rear half, we'll do kind of the same thing where we'll take these around, except instead of folding them around to the front, we will fold them, well, not like that. Fold them around to the back here, but the same kind of thing. There's a little slot here to tab that on. Tab that in like that, and then slide them together to form the rear bumper. And then the wheels kind of rotate down. You want to pop them out like that and then uh, rotate them down. Sometimes you can get them past this without messing it up too much, but uh, it's not a, not super difficult to get the wheel down past that bumper as long as this is pushed in all the way. This little gray piece here. But flip those wheels down, flip the bumper around, and then you just take this and these little tabs, or peg holes here on the side, just peg into these little pieces that fold around and grip and peg together. And there you've got a Leonardo Donatello party wagon. And again, they look basically the same aside from the, the, the turtles are all different green colors. You can kind of see some of the Leonardo's blue and a little bit of Donatello's purple. But uh, there you go. Now you got another party wagon to go with if you want to have two party wagons rolling around at the same time. But it's kind of neat. I mean, obviously it's not, it's not super... Um, you know, it's, it's, it's blocky. It's two boxes stuck together in a vague approximation of the party wagon. But it's still cool that they can do that. And then uh, the transformation to turtle mode is more or less the same as it was previously. So we're just going to show it here on one. And uh, we'll come and then we'll show off all the turtles together. Because the transformation to turtle mode is, aside from the weapon, how the weapons assemble, not any different from turtle to turtle. 
So we'll start off right here. One, we'll just take the weapons off. Just pull these off of the, the posts here. And then the handles are kind of stuck in here uh, in the little tab and pegged into the bottom of the foot, what will become the foot. Uh, no pun intended for Ninja Turtles. But anyway, and take those out. Uh, Donatello's weapon store the same way. He's got the two ends of his bow staff on these two tabs, and then the uh, wrapped middle section of his bow staff goes all the way across here. It doesn't tab into the middle like the handles do, but it goes all the way across here and tabs into each foot. Just FYI, that's the only difference between their weapons. I mean, obviously the one's a sword, you know what I mean. Between how they store. Well, you just plug that right in there like that, and we'll open this up. And plug it right into the handle. There is a specific way to plug it in. Oh, come on, why aren't you? It looks like there should, it definitely looks like there's supposed to be a divot there. Yeah, this one went in, right? Yeah, the little divot should go in the little divot. Hmm. That one actually, oh, that, that, that's weird. Oh, well, maybe. Hold on. The, okay, never mind. That one has a divot. So the swords are specific to each other. Did not realize that the first time. I guess I just did it right the first time. So one has a squared off bit and goes in the handle with the squared off bit. And the other one has kind of a smaller angled divot and goes in that way. I learned something. I don't know if I don't know if I was maybe keeping better track of which handle came off of which sword. <coughs> Excuse me. Which handle which came off of which sword. But uh, yeah, they do go into specific handles. So be aware of that. Anyway, come up here. Go ahead and fold these up. Actually, you don't want to tap them in there. That's for box mode. Uh, come up here. Go ahead and flip this up. You can flip the, uh, pull the legs out to the side here. And then fold these panels here up and over onto the wheel. Actually, push the wheels in first because this little peg goes into that peg on the wheel hole in the wheel like that bring the feet out rotate the leg around there at the hip so this little slots facing forward rotate it around at the knee so the knee band knee pad comes around to the front collapse the lower shin and uh, rotate the feet around rotate them up and rotate them around so the toes are facing forward you can go ahead and rotate this lower shell carapace piece and clip it Push it back to lock it into place there, and you can kind of pull these off to the side. Uh, they'll form some of the belt here in a minute. You get fully into humanoid mode. So make sure these are sticking out because if th these fold all the way in for box mode, but when they're folded all the way in, this upper piece doesn't collapse. So make sure these are hanging out to the side. They'll fold along the side of the body when we're all done. But for right now, then untab this here and bring the arms out to the side. Lift up the middle piece of the windshield and fold it around and into the main body like that. Make sure this hinge is flat because it fits so this folds all the way in. And you can collapse these two pieces together, collapse these two pieces together, and fold that up to form the chest. And bring the arms out and down. Flip the little elbow pad up. Oh, pop them out of his balls right there. But then rotate this down so the, the, the screw goes to the back. The holes go on the side and the bicep faces forward. Then rotate it so the elbow pad goes to the back of the arm and then flip the fist down and push it in. Then come up back here, fold these out to the side like this. Lift this hole, untab the head like that and fold this whole panel up and around. Fold those out to the side. Fold these panels in like this and then in again so they're kind of sitting vertically or, you know, like that inside the shell. And then make sure these are open. This comes up. These want to be flat here because these will tab in. There's a couple little tabs here that will go into the back of the front shell. Uh, accordion that little hinge up. Just like that. So make sure that's flat. Fold the arms back and peg them on to either side of these little neck flaps. Uh, these pieces will fold. I'll fold the, uh, the rear view mirrors. Just kind of fold in there to the side of the body like I mentioned. And then fold these up and around here and push them all the way in and they'll tab in to the back shell here. Same over here. I guess it won't really tab tab in, but they'll sit here to form the belt along the body. Something should be, something's not lining up here, right? 
Oh, no, there's a tab. Okay. Gray tab on the... Uh, they don't tab into the back of the shell, but the tab on this piece tabs into the little flap inside there. Turn his head around, and then undo these little sides of the bandana here, which are on ball joints. So you can angle his bandana ties however you want. And then give them their weapons. Like that. And there's Leonardo ready to fight. Uh, the figures have a ball joint at the neck. This one's still a little tight because I haven't messed with it that much. Make sure that snaps into place. Um, obviously the ball joint's on the bandana ends. We've got a ball joint at the shoulder. And a ball joint at the elbow. And a hinge there in the bicep. And then a swivel and a hinge at the wrist itself. No swivel, because that's, that's all locked up. Yeah, but they got a ball joint at the hip and then like a up and down hinge, so you can get it, move it down for a lot of you know, kicking poses. Uh, it's not limited by all these bits. It gets, gets it free and clear there, which is nice. Uh, you got a hinge and a swivel at the knee. And then you can kind of use that shin swivel, but that just looks like their leg is broken, but keep that up. But then you got a ball joint there at the foot, and then the toes and heel are posable as well. So some really nice articulation in, like you said, slightly chunky, but uh, not a horrible looking Ninja Turtle for transforming from a box and a party wagon. And they're a lot of fun. I'm super stoked to have the whole crew here. So there's Leonardo and... Uh, Again, the same process with the exception of the, the weapon differences will also get you Donatello. Now, Donatello's got like a squinty eye and one wide open eye, and with the painted pupils, looks a little weird. Maybe they should have gone with all white pupils uh, like they did with Raphael, but um, he, he looks a, just a little... He looks quizzical in the way that Donatello should, but doesn't look quite as... Um, I'm not sure exactly what the term I'm going for. That looks a little sillier than Leonardo. But yeah, so there's Leonardo and Donatello, and previously we did Michelangelo and uh, killed Donatello. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's my fault. I bumped you again. There we go. Well, look, put your shoulder in. There we go. Let's move your staff so it's not... And if they start falling backwards, I just didn't have the heel pushed down all the way. Donatello. And Raphael. And there are all of the 5 2 Toys Mega Box Ninja Turtles together. Again, you can you can have two different party wagons. Any of them can be front or back. Mix and match them however you want. Do the A team, do the B team together. However you want to do it. Um, but yeah, like I like that they've got different colors for the four turtles. They're very reminiscent. They've got they, they, they all they seem to have little bits of several different lines worth of turtles in them like the color they got the different colors from the old the original toy line um they they, they look they're they, it says nickelodeon on the package they look a little bit like the a, a little bit like a mix of the most recent nickelodeon cartoon well not the most recent nickelodeon cartoon the the cg nickelodeon cartoon and then the old 2012 nickelodeon cartoon but they're clearly identifiable as identifiable as ninja turtles and uh they're a fun little group. But there is the second half of the set. Leonardo and Donatello. Glad to have them here. All together reunited with their brothers. And they're a lot of fun. So, like I said, got these in from Show Z Store. Check them out. Uh, you can just search Show Z Store or you can go to Gundam.it. That's another website they're running that offers the same. You'll find the same kind of stuff. I don't know if they're going to be completely moving over to that site in the future. For right now, both websites work. But... Uh, if you want to pick some up, they've got them. Anyway, again, thanks to Show Z Store and thanks to Megabox for, or, and 5-2 Toys for making these officially licensed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Megabox figures.